Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, as you could guess from the title, I am going to be reviewing the Yogalicious leggings. I have been searching far and wide. Why am I clapping? I don't know. I've been searching far and wide for leggings that I don't hate. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I am super picky when it comes to leggings. I feel like everything looks funky dunky on me all the time. Like I can't find a pair of leggings that just like hug me in the right places, if you know what I mean. I like to go to the gym. I enjoy yoga. I try to be very active in all realms of fitness. So I just need something that's going to give me all that. I need a legging that can handle all that stuff. I never heard about Yoga Licious up until only a couple months ago and I just happened to be at TJ Maxx and I stumbled across my first pair. I was going through all the leggings, touching and feeling and then I came to Yoga Licious and I was like, hold up. I have three pairs here to show you guys. I'm gonna be trying them on for you so you get an idea of how they fit. I'm gonna do a full review. I'm gonna tell you the good. I'm gonna tell you the bad. I keep it real on this channel. So let's just get into the dang thing. <laughs> start with the material okay the material is actually what sold me on these leggings in the first place I felt it and I was like this is like buttery soft these are buttery soft leggings and I just knew I knew by the feel that they would glue to my skin if that makes sense I knew it would it would just like and make everything look pretty nice because um, a lot of leggings that I wear, I guess it's my body shape or whatever. They're like super tight in some areas and then like loose in others and it's just very unflattering. But um, these I tried on and I was instantly in love, instantly. The material on these are 83% polyester and 17% spandex. And the one thing I have to say with these leggings is that they are very, very, very consistent. I know there's some brands out there that um, depending on their style, they start to change up the material. So you don't know really what you're getting. If you love a certain brand, then you go to buy the same thing just in a, a different style from them and it's not the same material. That bugs me out, it gets me so mad. So the one thing I do have to say, especially with these three pairs that I own, is that they're very, very consistent. The quality is the same. Every single pair that I own is the same. So if you buy one and you love it, you know buying two, three, four, five more, you're gonna love it. So moving on to the big question that I know a lot of you are wondering, does it pass the squat test? And the answer is yes. You can even see the reviews say it as well. They do pass the squat test. So let's touch upon price. That's what got me purchasing them in the first place, other than the material. The price is amazing. If you go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls, they're loaded with Yogalicious. That's where I bought all of them from. And they are about 16 to $17 each, under 20. That's amazing. They do have a bunch on Amazon, so I'll have these linked down below in case you're interested in checking them out closer but they have them on Amazon for $25. So a little more pricey than TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but still so dang good. So you can buy them online or in the store, but I don't believe they have their own like store. There's no Yogalicious store that I'm aware of. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry, but please let me know down below if you find a store, because I will go <laughs> tomorrow, okay? Now the fit, I wanna talk about the fit. The fit itself is honestly the best part of it other than the price. If you are a yoga lover like myself, amazing. If you are a gym lover like myself, amazing. These are so versatile, it's ridiculous. I even wear them every single day, whether I'm working out or not, okay? Because they're that freaking comfortable. They um, fit like a glove. They are so stretchy, they move with your body. I. The, the material, the quality is amazing. I have washed um, a couple of these before. They are not pilling. It is still in perfect condition. I have no complaints there. The quality is all that right now. The one thing I do have to say is depending on the style, 
Some run a little longer in length than others. My black pair and my like candy blush color right here are the same length. They fit great. They are a 7 8 cropped fit. So they fit me perfect and I'm 5 foot 3 in case you need some reference. Um, the lavender, however, are a little long on me. So I think these are just like the regular full length that they sell. Um, so if you are shorter, just make sure that you do get their cropped length because it will fit you right at the ankle, right where you want it to fit. I mean, nothing a little, you know, folding over can't handle, but I mean, we don't always want to do that. Let's be real, like, come on. What I do enjoy about this brand is that they do have a variety of styles. These black ones are my absolute favorite. They come with side pockets and I never knew how useful side pockets were until I owned a pair with side pockets. Now I'm kind of like, I just want to wear these all the time because where else am I going to put my phone? Like it's always falling out of my bra. Okay, that's annoying. These are all high-waisted, just so you know. Their leggings are high-waisted, which I, in my personal opinion, is a plus. And when you squat or do any bending type of exercise, they stay in place, they ain't going anywhere. Girl, believe me, I tried it. You don't have to worry about that. It's very secure on you. I wear um, both an extra small and a small. That's how stretchy they are. An extra small fits fine. The smalls also fit fine. <laughs> so you got the little logo on the back. It just looks like a little symbol of a shiny um, ball. <laughs> that's, that is their, that's their, that's, that's their brand. And hey, I like that. But with that being said, I am absolutely going to touch upon the cons, of course. I have to mention some cons because no leggings perfect, or maybe there is a perfect legging, and if so, you know, comment down below and hook a girl up. But nevertheless, I'm gonna keep it real with you. There's probably two cons that I can come up with, and two cons only, okay? Number one, this isn't so much a con for me, but I do believe it can be a make or break for some people, is that it doesn't really um, have tummy control. It's not a compression type of legging, so which I find to be a good thing because it doesn't smoosh in all my goods, if you know what I'm saying. But at the same time, it it although it is high-waisted, it doesn't really tuck you in too much. So if you have that kind of problem area or whatever, if, if that's something you're insecure about, then maybe opt out for something with a little more tummy control. Because these are just super just mold to your flesh kind of leggings. So they are just gonna mold to you. And the second con would be, ready? It hugs you in all the right places. Okay, girls, you know from the back, that's always a good thing. We all love that. Don't act like you don't, okay? but it also hugs you from the front if you catch my drift all right i think you know where i'm going with this but um i don't like saying the word because i don't know why i don't like that word very much it's just kind of gross so i mean with the darker color leggings it's really not very noticeable um with the lighter ones obviously it's more noticeable um, doesn't happen all the time. It's not like a constant, you know, depending on how you wear the leggings, obviously if you like pull them up a lot, it's gonna extra hug you. It's not like it's uncomfortable or anything. It doesn't hurt. These leggings do not hurt. It's like wearing air. But um, I just thought I would mention that part. Okay, I'm still wear them because I don't care that much. I mean, might be a make or break for some people, but I can live with it. People shouldn't be looking down there anyway. I'm like, eh. That's the second con, and honestly, I can't think of a single other con. I know a few people on reviews have said that the Yogalicious right here kind of digs into their waist a little bit. I understand what they mean. It kind of does. Like when I wear the extra small and I take them off after a long day, I do see a little line here. It doesn't hurt at all. I'm not like, ow, throughout the day but it is a little huggy around the waist. So I would definitely say then maybe size up. I know my smalls don't make any kind of a line, so, but my extra smalls do. So just size up, you know, give yourself a little wiggle room. It'll still, believe me, it'll still hug you in the right places no matter what. That's my honest opinion on the Yogalicious. If you have ever tried Yogalicious for yourself, comment down below. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know what you think. 
So yeah, guys, that is it. That was my Yogalicious review. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this has helped some of you guys make a purchase decision. And if you guys got really good vibes from these leggings, I'll absolutely have them linked down below in case you're interested in taking a closer look or thinking about making a purchase. For me, I know for sure over the many, many years I've been working out, these have been the best pair so far that I have ever owned and I'm going to buy out every single color. If you do have any questions about them, I will absolutely try my best to answer them. So just comment down below and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe, baby. New videos every single week and also follow me on Instagram. Okay, let's be friends there too. Come on, baby. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video.